Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scott Dog. Thanks very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager. We're back with the new season. We're still at Chelmsford, as you can see. Lots have changed. We'll talk about what's changed first, and then maybe we'll get to playing this game, our first game against Darford. First thing that's changed is the actual skin that we're using. It's changed, it's changed some stuff, not a huge amount. Obviously, when we click on a player, you'll see it's changed a reasonable amount. When we click on the club, information is also changed quite a lot. Uh, this is the Zealand uh, skin, so if you want to have a look at that, it's on the Steam store. Uh, and also, we'll notice that it's changed quite a lot in the match screens. Uh, and it's pretty good, I have to say. It's, it's quite nice. Um, what's changed in terms of our, our team and uh, what's happened with our friendlies? Let's start there. So as you can see, we've had a pretty good preseason. We've stuck with the same formation. We've had a pretty good preseason. Uh, we won the first one 9-1 with a hat-trick from Jamie Soul and a hat-trick from Joe Neal, I think. Then we had a uh, game against Newport. Now, Newport, interestingly, are League 2, uh, and we beat them at home 1-0. I don't know what kind of team they were putting out in comparison to uh, to, to, to normal. Uh, Chertsey, we beat 3-1. A uh, good win scoring a couple. Then we played Woking and uh, and drew 2-2. Interesting, we took a 2-0 lead. Woking in the league above us. Uh, and that's the only time we slipped up in our qualifying. And then we played uh, Braintree, who are a non-league team. And Hayes and Yates, uh, sorry, Yielding, Yedding, <laughs> who are also a non-league team. So, you know, we were expected to win a lot of these. But the ones we, we did pick up wins in and draw in, uh, you know, we maybe weren't expected to do that. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's have a look at our squad and what's changed. Let's go back to the tactics. You'll notice there's some new players, and we'll run through what our first choice team is. Then we'll run through some of the some of the changes. So you can see we've got Goodwin up top and Soul still out on the left wing. We interestingly signed Adi Dokun. Adi Dokun, um, and we signed him from uh, from Brentford. Had been at Dundalk before that, uh, but we brought him in. He got released, and we brought him in. Uh, and he looks like he could he could do a very good job for us. He's highly rated, three and a half stars, got potential, you know, got uh, stats in the right places. However, he's a left winger, uh, and we are going to be playing him on the right. And he's really not very good as a right winger at this moment in time. But you know that may well change. Um, but uh, we're still looking for a right winger. You'll notice that we've got uh, some defenders on trial. Uh, we signed a, a, a cheap uh, winger from India just to well, he wasn't from India. He's he's Indian. He came from. Uh, from Wales, um, but uh, we signed uh, we signed a cheap winger in the hope that he would impress us. He's not very he's not very good. We're not paying him, so he's not too much of an issue. Um, but you'll notice that that means there is no room for Isaac. Isaac has left. He told us that uh, he was upset that he didn't play in midfield, uh, and and we told him tough, uh, and then he wanted to leave. Uh, you'll also notice that Jose has gone. Uh, now Jose did the same thing. He came out and said. I'm worried that you've signed Heskov here and Heskov is going to get more game time than me. And we said, well, he probably will, because as you can see, rated very highly as well. Let's go and have a little look at Heskov. We signed Heskov from Wolves, used to be at Man City then went to Wolves, has played in the Premier League. Um, but uh, yeah, from our point of view, looks like he could be a very good midfielder in this league. Uh, and the stats go to go to prove that potential to be a sky bet league one player, you know, so Looks like he could be very, very good for us. Again, he could play attack in the field or anywhere across the uh, the middle of the park. Uh, then we signed, we didn't really need to sign him, but we signed Chuke, Cha Chayuke, Chayuke, uh, who's South African. Uh, he came from uh, from Southampton via Inverness, uh, Kegs, Chayuke, uh, and is uh, looking like another good midfield uh, player. Can play defensive midfield as well. Uh, looks like he'd be very good in that role, but uh, interesting with his passing and his uh, his work rate. Looks like he'll be a good midfield acquisition for us. Um, what else has happened? We then lost um, uh, Grant, maybe. We'll have a little look at, uh, at some of our players who have left. Oh no, Pashios uh, left us. He he was fed up and, and said, you didn't play me as a central defender as much as you, you could have done. And we said, well, you know, you're probably our left back anyway. Uh, and he wanted to leave. So we went and signed Hughes here. John Hughes uh, looks like he's going to be uh, pretty good for us. He's he's OK. He's not incredible, but uh, good stats in the move. Very determined uh, for an 18 year old. 
uh, and he came from Aston Villa. So we've got some 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 good players come into the club. I don't think we've signed anyone else. We're still looking for a goalkeeper. Can't find one. We've told the the some of the players that we're going to find a goalkeeper. We're struggling. Um, so this is this is it. This is the first choice team. The question is whether we we play um, Neil. Uh, we're trying to get rid of Neil at the moment. Whether we keep Palmer, who we're thinking about trying to get rid of. Uh, but uh, this is this is our first choice lineup, as far as I can tell. Uh, when I do auto pick, it does want to swap some of these players around. It prefers Hughes in the middle. Um, it prefers Adi Oken as a a defender, a left back, um, which I'm you know not completely adverse to. If we can find a good right winger, not completely adverse to playing him there. But uh, this is this is the team. You can see when you look at the role ability. Now, some of these have dropped down, I think, because other players have come in and are slightly better. Um, but, um, yeah, from our point of view, ball-playing centre-backs, we're missing. We're missing some good ones, missing a good goalkeeper. Defensive midfield, I like Woods a lot. I'm not sure whether if we if we drop Woods down and play uh, Burnett in the middle, that would give us at least one more star. And as you can see here, we're, we're silver stars as a, as a right winger. But we're going to see if we can improve that as time goes on. We have got a right wing on the bench. We've got a uh, we've got a midfielder and a, a defender. Prince Jones has come back up from the reserve team because of uh we had a goalkeeper on loan. But I think that's it. I think that's our I think that's our first choice team and I think we're pretty much ready to go into our first game. Let's just have a little look over here. We've had an offer come in for someone which isn't going to happen, but we can see over here Isaac Pashos and Jose all leaving and Hughes Haskiff uh, Adiokin, uh, Chuke, and uh, Dool uh, is the other player who came in. We didn't scout him. We did, he said the scout said he was rated very highly, and then we get him, and he's well, he's he's not. But you know, is what it is. He's only uh, he's only twenty five, but his contract is is such that uh, if he plays, he pay we pay him. Um, so we probably won't get paid. Um, so we'll keep an eye on on that. We might we might cut him loose if need be. Kerr is uh, Kerr is still sniffing around the first team, but uh, I think that's I think that's pretty much everybody. I don't think there's anything else to talk to talk about. We uh, we haven't changed the formation. We're sticking with what we know. Um, let's just let's just get into this, shall we? Is there anything else we need to talk about? We did have a, a little look at jobs. Uh, there was one for a uh, role in in Wales Wales that we we considered, uh, but they didn't want us. There was a, a role at older shot which we also applied for. They didn't want us, so we're we're hanging out in uh, in Chelmsford for another season. It looks like, unless something drastic changes pretty quickly, we're not going to change our team here. Everyone's in good uh, in good morale to a point. Although we have had a bit of a, a ropey one with people being upset with how we've treated players. But what's really interesting when a player comes to you and says, "I'm worried about the game time I'm going to get," and they've got a genuine concern and they're concerned for a for a valid reason i've brought in someone who is going to play in your position and who our coaches all think are better than you then there's a chance that you're not going to play as much game time now really what i want to do when my the rest of my team get upset is go and say well look i can play him in one of your positions is that what you want and that would you know that would pacify some right but there isn't often that option that comes up i have seen it before but it didn't come up this time around so i kind of just had to accept it we'll put you in as the number 11 and we'll get started here um i think i think i've reset the uh, the the match stuff we'll have a little look um i don't think we need to worry about any of this stuff um let's go let's see what we what we get here i think i just need to turn on um oh, where do i find it oops what have i done um i think i just need to turn on sounds wherever there we go there's the there's the option. So we'll turn sounds on. Everything else I think is good. This is the change. So you can see down here we've got the players. Over here we've got tabs, which is quite nice. Uh, up here we've got the stats and we've got the scores that are coming in over here. All pretty nice. You can customise a lot of this and see a lot of other stuff. Uh, but this is this is it. We're 23 minutes in and not a lot has happened. Uh, Dartford haven't had a shot. We've had four free on target. We've looked pretty good. I, I played the... Uh, I played most of the preseason games and we looked pretty good. We didn't give up many chances. I don't expect, you know, we were playing teams that were worse than us, so I don't expect that to continue. Um, but it would be nice if it, it would be really nice if it did. There's Sol. There's Hughes. There's a booking already for Hughes on his on his uh, competitive debut. Woods. 
find Heskef. Soul looks for Goodwin. It starts as it finished last season. First goal of the season for Goodwin. Soul and Goodwin combine, and we like that a lot. Good football as well. I did think about tweaking our tactic just to give us a little bit more control of, of what we're doing, but I think, you know, based on how well the friendlies went, we stick with what we know. Look at that, look, uh, Kinstonian, a 4-1 up. Holy moly. Okay, half an hour gone, well, 37 minutes gone. We, we could definitely do with bringing in one top quality centre half we could definitely do with bringing in a better defender uh, a better goalkeeper Hughes gets to the byline pulls it across good wins there it's a great block by somebody uh, but yeah we could definitely do with strengthening just a couple of key positions goalkeeper who is currently our club captain after Isaac left that's a terrible corner and uh, I need to look at who's taking our set pieces and, and redo those just in case um, but yes a new goalkeeper and one or two centre halves would be really nice, uh, but uh, yeah, so far no shots. We've got to be pleased with that. Let's keep going, boys. We'll keep an eye on fitness. They all look like they're doing okay, but it is the first game of the season, so the interesting times will be when we start playing multiple games in a row. Haskiff is in. Haskiff does a, a tink. It wasn't. I mean, it didn't look the most convincing of dinks, did it? He didn't look like it was really going to trouble the goalkeeper. 66% of the possession. They've had their first shot. It was off target. They've had their second shot. This one was on target. Wowza. Uh, now they're reining in. Okay. Do we want to make some changes here? They've got a free kick. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Taylor heads, heads clear. Oh no, oh no, good block. Oh, well done, Hughes. What, you got the ball? What are you talking about? You got the damn ball. You are having a laugh. You are having an absolute laugh, referee. I normally, I normally don't whinge about the referees, but I'm getting tempted to whinge about the referee. <laughs> okay, um, let's shout some encouragement to the entire team after that travesty referee you moron okay boys have we got anything in the locker we've got a corner woods to take carlisle is there soul is there get in we bounce straight back gotta love that good finish from a tight angle as well carlisle did well goalkeeper makes a save and then somehow Somehow he squeezes it in from that tight angle. Uh, let's make a change. Let's bring Wright on. We signed Wright for a reason. Let's bring him on. Let's also bring Palmer on, who's been impressing me. And I think we'll make this change here. There goes Hughes. Ball across. Taylor to Woods. It's a Haskiff. Haskiff shoots. Good save by the keeper. Um, I'm, I'm going to have to come up with a, a shorter name for Addy. I think Addy makes sense because I'm never going to be able to pronounce it the right. That's probably the end of that sentence, but I'll never be able to pronounce it right uh, quickly is, is what I'd also say. Um, as Palmer is chasing that one, he's brought it down. He finds Woods. Woods looks for Haskiff, who's been making these runs. He deserves a goal, I think. He pulls it across to Palmer. Palmer's shot is poor. Cleared down the field. Taylor misses it. Oh no, this is where they equalise, right? Pick the men up in the middle. Oh, come on. Boys. We maybe should have gone defensive, but you know, what can you do? We hadn't we hadn't conceded a shot for like 75 minutes. Oh, if we lose this game, I'm going to be absolutely devastated. Last 15 seconds. 
All over the top. Soul is chasing. Soul is going to get there. Get into the box and win a penalty. No. Play back to Palmer. Palmer shoots. Over the bar. That is so disappointing. That is so disappointing. And I guess... Um, we'll, tell them, we'll tell them to trust in the process. We definitely should have won that game. Um, we're a little bit unlucky, I have to say. But... It's a bit disappointing. I will say that. We missed the chance to win. Made his debut. Um, we'll send our assistant to this. Big win for the under-18s. What was the score? Bloody hell. 9-1. Nice. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we know we've got, we've got things to improve on, but hopefully that'll all come together as we... Uh, as we go on, let's. Uh, we've got a, a game two days away, so we'll just carry on for this one. Be interesting to see how quickly people cover. You'll notice we've got some badges. They're not the normal badges. I downloaded kind of a, uh, I, I guess a sort of a, a, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of the badges are for the clubs. Let's, let me show you. Let me. This will be easier. Uh, oh, my, my keyboard is, is a bit weird. Okay, <laughs> Liverpool. Uh, if we go to Liverpool, you can see this is, the Liverpool badge but it's not the Liverpool badge and you can see that for most of these teams over here like you can see they're all a little bit different I quite like it it's, it's intrigue it's interesting um no offers for Neil which is a bit of a shame um we've announced that we've sold 366 t season tickets last season we only sold 339 that's good news right we're building this club from the ground up we've got a game against Bath and it's coming up tomorrow let's see how that goes and this is the problem, right at the start of the season, the games come thick and fast. Um, we're going to send our assistant to this one. Bath obviously won, they're in fifth. Um, is there anyone here that strikes our fancy king? I'd really like to sign you, but you don't want to come to us. So let's just, let's just carry on and pretend that didn't happen. We've been scouting a lot of people. Um... And you're a midfielder, which we don't need. And even if we did, we probably wouldn't be able to sign you. Um, we could go and have a look at some loanies, but none of them look like they'd really, uh, really set, set us apart from from what we've currently got. But it might be worth having a look as the transfer window draws to a close. Uh, we might well find that there are more options out there. Um, okay, Bath City at home. Ngoma, a centre-half. Looks like he is pretty much where we are already. Let's, uh, let's fully scout him just in case. That's the problem with this, is you're having so many little gambles on on whether or not they could they could improve. And what the real problem here is that our, um, our team doesn't really... Um, doesn't really have the facilities to improve a great deal other than playing. Um, his, so here's the team that we've that we've auto picked. It's moved Hughes into central defence, um, and he's a better left back. So I think we can um, load our previous lineup and just have a look if anyone wants a rest. You're quite tired, uh, and Reese Taylor is still recovering. Let's put you on the bench up here, I think. Palmer is wanted. Um, you know what, let's swap these two round. Um, is there anything else that we want to do? Goodwin staying up top. Carlisle is pretty tired. Hughes is pretty tired. So we can make sure we've got a defender on the bench, which we have. Uh, I think that's it. I think we just go for it. Here we go. Okay. Um, all the best out there. Have fun. Um, we owe Bath after what happened last time. Come on, boys. Need a win after that first game. We need to. We need to get uh, some points on the board. And we definitely don't need to to give up to. Uh... Oh, for goodness' sake. We definitely don't need to give up a lead, I was about to say. Um, oh, 
10 minutes gone, we are a goal down and it's a set piece. It's caused us some problems. We had two men there. Neither of them. Neither of them covered themselves in glory to pick that up. It's definitely onside. Okay, come on boys. Um, I'll try and encourage them. Hughes and Woods already look pretty tired. Okay, there's good win. Eskif looks for Sol. Sol is in. He doesn't miss these, right? See, told you. Back on terms 10 minutes later. I did think about, do we try and cash in on Goodwin, who had a fantastic season, and move Sol into the uh, into the striker's position? And I think there's a shout for it, but Sol seems to have developed into a reasonable winger, as it turns out. 1-1. One, one. Goal kick for Bath. Eskif is there again. Eskif bursts forward. There's... there's Soul getting there. Can he get across? And he can. Ooh, Haskiff. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Heskiff. Not Haskiff. What are you doing? Okay, throw in. High up the pitch. Hughes to Soul. Soul switches it. Addy's there over the bar. Should have been. Should have been a goal. Another long ball down the field. Tarima is there. Taylor picks it up. Good win to Heskiff, to Sol. Sol shoots, ooh, over the bar again. We certainly found our feet in this one, but uh, be nice to nice to get a goal. There's Heskiff, he's beating his man. He's looking for a pass, he looks for Goodwin. Goodwin is there, Goodwin puts it wide. We've had some big chances in this one. We should be in front. Last five minutes before half time. We've got some tired players as well. Okay. No one cares about digging deep. Radio. There goes Taylor. We got us passing the ball around. Addy finds Chayuke, who gets tackled, who kind of wins it back, gets tackled again. What is happening? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. Tarim is there to win the header. However, Williams picks it up in midfield. This is either going to be a goal for them or the dullest highlight of all time. Usually it's these sorts of highlights when they score. Oh, Tarim has got sucked in underneath that. Beachy's there. Can he find a pass? There's a man unmarked. One man in the box and they pick him out. Boys, what are you doing? How, how, how do you let one man completely unmarked run into the box and score the goal? I don't understand. Look, there's any one of three people here who could pick him up and not a single person does. Ridiculous. Okay, this has not been the start we wanted to the second half. We've got a throw in though. Who's the take? There's Sol. Eskif. Drills it towards the back post. Addy's there. He's hit the post. Cleared away. I think we can safely say we're going to score another, right? I'm pretty sure of that. There's Sol. He's put it wide. How have we not scored? We have to make a change in the middle here. You're knackered. Let's bring on you. Um, you're knackered. Let's bring on you. Marsden with a goal kick. Tarima out to Taylor. Chuke to Goodwin. He's been tackled in the middle of the park. Burnett looks for Soul. Soul is going to get there. He's got room to run into. Can he pick out a cross? Now he goes back to Tyler. Tyler to Burnett. Burnett to AD. 
Ooh, over the bar. You know when I said we're going to score, I might have been wrong. Turns out I might have been wrong. Our top goal scorer from last season's coming off and uh, Neil is going on. Ball into the box. Cleared away. Burnett is there. There's Woods. We need a good cross, Woods. That is not it. Carlisle to Burnett. Referee. We lose the ball. Oh, no. Ooh. I've seen us mess those up before. We've got 15 minutes to go. He's not desperate yet, but it'd be really nice to get an equaliser here. Another game where we don't deserve to not get all three points as far as I'm concerned. Neil is in. Neil's put it wide. We've had so many of those. This is ridiculous. Woods heads down to Taylor. There's Tarima. I would argue that we maybe should have scored three or four today. Uh, Chuke to Burnett. Burnett forward. Terrible pass. Addy's trying to close it down. Doesn't get there. Woods heads it down to Chuke. There's Neil. There's Addy. Chuke's in. Let's put it wide. Goodness sake. Last two minutes. I said we would score another. We've had the chances. Oh no. We've had the chances to score another and we haven't mustered it. Which is really, really disappointing. They are taking their time over this one. Look how tired we are as well. We've got another game in like two days. Over the bar. I think we're losing this one. I don't think we're getting any points. Our first defeat of the season. Oh my god. Look at that. 22 shots. We only had six on target. That's the problem here. Apparently we didn't create a single clear-cut chance. I can only imagine this is broken. Or what we're seeing doesn't represent what's happening. Because we must have had at least four. Um, let's point the finger at them. That was That was harsh. That was really harsh. And that's a terrible first episode to the season. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'd love to know your predictions based on what you've just seen as to where we're going to finish this season. Uh, love to know your feelings about the business we've done this season um, and uh, you know where we need to improve and, and what we can do to what we can do to change it what we what we do know is that was not good enough and I'm weirdly it was our strikers who let us down I think although you know we we commented on how bad the defense was we didn't give up too many chances it's just the fact that uh, they uh, they took their chances we didn't Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott.Gaming. We'll see you again soon. Thank you.